now to my latest animal advocate investigation. Cats disappearing one by one in one area of Hollywood as neighbors are going to war over those missing felines. So I went out to investigate what is actually happening to the missing cats. Cat owners beware. That's what the flyers say that Ada Lourdes Amador hung up all over her Hollywood neighborhood. I've been posting all over the, the trees and, and the blocks so people are aware if their cat is missing to go and look on his house on the trap. Amador says she's rescued two community cats out of her neighbor's trap, but two other felines named Toby and Kiwi are still missing. She's not the only one looking for lost cats either. We're we'll looking for a cat. We haven't seen him in a while. He's a little orange cat. We were told he might be around here. Wow. This, this guy needs to be stopped because he's an evil guy. You know, all, all the cats are in dangerous in the neighborhood. These are community cats. She claims her neighbor a few doors down, David Capozzi, is trapping cats in his front yard. And she has the video to prove it. Because you're trying to trap cats. I am. Yeah, yeah you are. Cat that goes on my property, I trap it, Let and it disappears. That he's the, that oh, thank you for letting us know that. With such alarming words caught on camera, I went to Capozzi's house to talk to him about these cat trap allegations. I'm JC Birch. I'm the animal advocate for Local 10. I was just talking to Ada. I was wanting to hear your side of the story about what's going on with these cats. There's no story. Okay, so have you been trapping cats? No. No? They showed me pictures of traps and videos of, of you saying you were going to dispose of them or get rid of them. Mm -hmm. So, okay, bye. More neighbors came to me with their missing cat stories. Yeah, he's lying. He's, he, I, I can tell you personally, he made my daughter cry every night, so I'll never forget that. Eric Marino's cat Chloe went missing for months, disappeared in September, home by November. Marino blames Capozzi for Chloe's disappearance. Because he did it to our cat, and I told him. You're, my cat's in your pen. I don't care what you're doing, just let him out. Chloe made it back home, but others have not, which is why Amador and her husband, Richard Lothian, have gone to war with Capozzi. Cats are free reigning animals, don't you know that? Yeah, when they free reign on my property, they disappear, just so you know. You'll never see them again. In addition to these flyers posted, the police have been called out here numerous times. There have been requests for restraining orders and also threats among neighbors. These missing cats have turned into a huge feud in this neighborhood. I went to uh, court today uh, to answer as a respondent to the uh, um, injunction and uh, Mr. Kaposi didn't show up so it was dismissed without prejudice. Half a dozen Hollywood police and incident reports in April and May, code compliance notifications, and Broward County Animal Care correspondence clearly states authorities are well aware of this ongoing problem. <laughs> Kitty, come here. Come on, Kitty. And the Broward County ordinance is clear as well. A property owner has the right to humanely catch or trap a nuisance cat and bring that animal to Broward County Animal Care and Adoption. BCAC confirms Capozzi has not brought any cats to the shelter. These poor souls have lost everything now, right? They've lost their homes. They've lost their food security. They've lost their care and love from their family members. I also reached out to the Hollywood Animal Control Officer overseeing this case, but our calls were not returned. Again, Broward Animal Control has no record of David Capozzi dropping off any cats. So at this point, we don't know where they are. We'll be right back.